Our coverage of Computex 2024 is brought to you by Allosim and Hirscht. Thanks to them, I can actually afford food for today, so you should probably check them out. My lifelong dream has just come true because I just saw the one and only Lisa Sue. That's right, we're here at Computex and the big AMD keynote just happened. And while it was mostly just AI, as we all expected, we did also finally get an announcement of Ryzen 9000 that we're all expecting. And it's actually coming pretty soon. Uh, next month, in fact. Thanks to Zen 5, these are looking pretty promising. AMD is offering up to 2x the bandwidth of previous gen CPUs, which in combination with other neat tricks leads to an average 16% RPC improvement across the board. Okay, so that's all well and good, but how does it actually compare to Intel's little oven on the chip, the 1400K? I mean, pretty decently. The performance is kind of all over the place, going all the way from a 4% difference to a 23% difference in gaming, alongside similarly varied results when it comes to productivity as well. Though do keep in mind that this is comparing the flagship 9550X to the 1400K and not the KS. Speaking of, the CPU itself is pretty much what we expect. Once again, we're sticking to just 16 cores and 32 threads, but I mean, does anyone need any more on a desktop that isn't a thread ripper grade system? And with a max boost clock of 5.7 gigahertz and 80 megabytes of cache, we can expect this chip to perform rather well, if that wasn't obvious enough, even if the TDP is getting kind of ridiculous. Now if that CPU is a bit too extreme for you, don't worry, AMD have also teased some other low end SKUs as well, that they haven't gone into too much detail with any of them. We also got confirmation that to be extra confusing, AMD is skipping 700 series chipsets and going straight for x870 for the next flagship motherboards. Why though, apart from just wanting to be confusing, well probably to stay in line with Intel's next gen Z890 products because well, Intel love annoying AMD, AMD love annoying Intel, it's a beautiful relationship indeed. Add to that plenty of additional info about the upcoming Strix based Ryzen AI, which I still think is a very dumb name, CPU slash NPU slash GPUs for laptops, and it was an overall pretty good showing. However, there's one major thing missing. Graphics cards. I don't think the word Radeon got uttered even once in the entire presentation, which is kind of concerning. But we all know that the next gen RDNA 4 based graphics cards are already kind of eh, and are mostly just a stopgap before RDNA 5, which should hopefully blow everyone's socks off. Hopefully, in videos as well. Oh, we know, and there was some like epic stuff as well with just an insane amount of cores and new instant GPUs, but let's be honest, you don't care about all of this enterprise data center stuff. So, what do you think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. And whilst they're here, maybe we should check out our Patreon because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Anna Vronyak, Def Panda, Natsuko of Kane, Bardish Shvoka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye. Allo Sim and Hush allow you to continue using your phone completely uninterrupted overseas with competitive eSIM and secondary phone number packages. Make sure to check out the links below for more.